So today we here we are uh, to discuss on the form filling part. Since the UPSC notification has come, so it is time for us to fill the form, right? I hope you people have not filled the form yet, right? So why it is different from the last year is that this is the first time UPSC is introducing the one-time registration. Previous year in Akte, application in a direct agi film and both again. From this year onwards, even for the civil services exam, UPSC has brought in the one-time registration. You need the one-time registration, Andre. As the name itself tells that this, whatever you take the UPSC exams, whether it is NDA, CDS, or any departmental exam from the UPSC, you have to fill the basic details once. It is a lifetime application, a basic application that you have to fill. And one more thing, you should be very clear that. E OTR application in it, once you fill, once you fill in your lifetime, you will get only one chance. You will get only one chance to edit it or to update it. So UPSC will not allow you to change this basic details after you make one attempt to edit it. No matter what, UPSC will not edit it. So it will ask not to take the exam itself. So it is very particular and it has also mentioned in the notification that it will only allow once to modify your OTR application. So, e OTR application some basic details you should be aware of. It. So, the name as it is mentioned in your 10th standard mark sheet, exactly the same you have to fill in that part. So, whether you have a space between the two, uh, your, for example, Darshan Kumar, right? So, this is the full name what I have. So in my 10th standard Darshan space, there is no space in that. It is a complete, you know, continuation of it. If there is no space in between the names or the words, what you have in the name, you have to fill exactly as it is. Even the letters of your, you know, initials, right? It should be exactly same how you fill it, right? And your date of birth. Your date of birth, your 10th mass card is the proof of identity of your date of birth. And also... Any identity cards, for example, ADA, right? Your uh, voter ID, your driving license, the passport, right? So here also you will have your date of birth. So the ID, whatever you put for the UPSC as a photo identity uh, number. So in that uh, photo identity, also the date of birth should be same. For example, in the other card, for some few candidates, uh, the date of birth is not proper. So they would have given one one uh, and the date of year what you have born in. They will not give the exact date. So in that scenario, do not apply with the other. Why your date of birth is mismatching with your 10th standard March. If you are having the same as in the driving license, put the driving license. Or if you are having the same date of birth as in the 10th mass card, in the passport, apply with that. Right. So it is not mandatory that you have to only apply with the other. The second thing. Third thing, 10th mass card is the role number. Whatever the role number it is unique for all the candidates who apply for this exam. So your role number is the unique identity is what UPSC asking you. So each candidates, their identity is ascertained with your 10th standard role. So you have a mask card. Right, state board now again, you have a role number. CBAC, ICAC, for example, ICAC, they will not have the role number. Instead, they will have the index number remember this your index number is a unique number what you have to put it in the application form cbs ego registration number that you can use it as a unique 10th mark number in that part. right so illimate one more requirement your mobile number which is active mobile number right by your own number don't put your parents or the uh, brothers or the family members number because over a period of time, you will get the OTPs and the notification from the UPSC. And one day number in the Nukuda Nima identity, and it will not allow you to put the one more application using the same mobile number and the email IDs. And also, email ID should be unique. So, these are the requirements in putting the OTR application. I'm only speaking about the OTR one time registration. This OTR is same and where UPSC fetch all the details for its all notification. I told you civil services, forest service, 
serious mda departmental exam for all these it will derive your basic details from this otr so otr you should be perfect in filling the details artha aagtidya matte enadru mistake madidre upsc will not entertain it will ask you to get an affidavit and making an affidavit is a time consuming and it is a burden also you have to go to the court you have to make an affidavit with any change in your name date of birth or your parent name or your mother name if you want to make change you have to make an affidavit but the upsc beauty of the upsc is that it will not you know ask you any details or the proof of identity till you reach the interview artha aagtidya nimma verification nadiyode interview date ga alli varigu upsc in between it will not ask you to give the documents for verification nothing you can write the prelims with that details you can write the mains with that details but if you clear the mains then at the stage of interview on the date of interview you have to produce the original documents our uh, original documents only if there is a mismatch then upsc will not entertain then you have to make an affidavit and you have to you know pillar to post you have to run and make that affidavit. it is a time consuming task so be clear in this otr registration where you have to be perfect with your details getting this one people right so going to this notification part i'll take up the live we can go and fill that i'll show you how to go about that so this is the window it will open once you go to the upsc website so in the home page you will see on the right side the upsc civil services exam notification in that if you want to read the document details you can click on that that notification will give the complete details on this examination right it talks about the mode of examination the way and how the levels of examination is conducted but there is no change in the examination method the level the syllabus compared to the last year there is no change at all in all these aspects but only new thing is the otr based application form right and very importantly when you see this notification people you can see that the last date the last date to apply for this exam is 21st feb till 6 pm only 21st february 6 pm before that you have to apply for this exam but don't wait till the last date apply as soon as possible why because the exam centers will be given to the candidate on first come first serve basis artha aagtidya and the exam centers anta bandaga for preliminary examination for karnataka students we have three centers that is the bangalore mysore and the dharwad right but for writing the mains examination we only have in bangalore right so hagirbekar bangalore alli the number of candidates writing the exam is more right so it is advised to apply this examination center at the earliest kelavaru dina nodtare you know they will go for the astrology right they will ask for the right time right date right they will ask everything because everything should fall on the place everything the good luck should come to you on that day no matter what nimma grahagatigalu everything should support you on that day no matter what right so hagirbekare don't wait for that even if so make it at the earliest artha aagtida but before 21st february apply for this examination understood and also this examination notification tells that this is the first time in the last 7 years we have the highest number of vacancies 1105 is the total vacancies that upsc is putting for this notification if you observe the last 7 years i have shared in the group right so you can notice that there were 600 plus 700 plus 900 plus was the total number of vacancies this kind of vacancies we have seen in the year 2013 and 14 after that there was no such vacancies have come till now so hagir baker it is a great opportunity for you people to make the best use of it so vacancies jasti irodrinda the number of people who clear the prelims will also be more the number of people who clearing the mains will also be more and number of people who called for the interview will also be more so hagir baker be one among that more ratios in this notification right put hard core effort on all the ways to get one among that 1105 vacancies getting this one so hagir bhai kare one more thing in the notification in the first page itself it has mentioned regarding the otr details i told you it is a first time that upsc is bringing upon this otr part be clear on that 
and also this is the first time upsc is allowing to modify your own application also idu varagu once application submit madad mele yavde ridiya anta change madake avakasha irutte illira but this is the first time even after the notification date or even after the application closing date it will give you a grace period of 7 days to modify your application artha aagtidya kelavarige examination center change madbekagutte because of some reason or they find some mistake in their application form they want to change it so even after the closing date of the application you will get 7 days to update and edit your application form also and your otr form also so it this is the first time ups is giving you the seven days windows to apply for this exam this you should be keep it in mind while applying for the exam so rest every details you are aware of this and one more important thing you should be aware is that this is the common application even for your civil services exam and for the indian forest service exam those who are planning to write both the exam you should be very cautious while filling the form why if you are opting for the even the indian forest service you should be clear with your two optional subjects that you opt in the main examination civil services we have one optional but in the forest service we have the two options and in forest service ge ella graduates ko eligibility illa even mbbs candidates they are not eligible bcom candidates they are not eligible arts background they are not eligible e bsc engineering and technical background iroru matra they are eligible for the indian forest service exam arth aagtidya and one more thing if you take the both the exam since it is a common prelims the attempt is counted for both the exam arth aagtidya if you write the prelims with both the examination so an attempt is counted for the indian civil services also even for the forest services also this you should be very clear if you are not opting for it then is there is no problem with that one attempt the civil services matra bardidini second attempt nanu civil services forest service eradunu baritini andre then second attempt ali forest service will be the first attempt arth aagtidya if you are not writing in the first attempt so these aspects you should be very clear about getting this one people any doubts on this what we have discussed till now shall i go further okay moving ahead so this is a notification you can check from your website and the basic details is given in this right so once you read this document click on the link what it pops up so here this is a window which takes you to fill the otr part the one time registration is what you have to fill here. so if you are a first time for this platform since being a new registration click on new registration kelavaru new registration agirutte right other exam ge apply madirthira don't apply for the new registration once again with your details you can log in again to put for the civil services exam once if you are done do not go for a new registration only if it is a new to you go for a new registration part right so this is the window which will open up once you click on the new registration part so here few things you should be aware of so seeing this the columns of this application form the first comes your name so here there is a difference in the name and the full name right so you can see here there is a name and a full name you can observe here right so the name is the exact match of the letters what is there in your 10th mask your initial sign is there your letter sign is there in your name it should match exactly same while filling the form take the calmness to put that details perfect artha aagtidya so do not make any mistake in the name what you mentioned i am telling you if you make a mismatch in your name it is difficult for you to correct later on artha aagtidya look for 10 times before you go to the next column in filling the after the name right coming to next is the verify name exactly what you write you write the same in the second column also then the next one is the full name what is this full name and how different is from the name is that mask card al yen irutho that is your name but full name anta bandaga for example you can see your passport ee passport al nodadaga nimma initials yen irutho adanna expanded aagi bardirtare howda for example my name darshan kumar cs so this cs stands for my place of birth and my father name right so this you seal as a detailed explanation or the full form in many of the identity proof athwa bere ondu passport alu kuda irutte right so hagirbekare that you can mention 
अर्थ आप दिया बट इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी सी ए द यूपीएससी हैव नॉट पुट दैट रेड स्टार हियर इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी टू फिल दैट इफ यू वांट टू फिल फिल इट बट दिस विल नॉट कम इन योर एडमिट कार्ड दिस विल नॉट कम इन योर द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म आल्सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट फॉर सर्टेन रीजन दैट इज यूपीएससी इज पुटिंग इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग दैट फुल नेम leave it blank there is no mandatory to fill them but do not make mistake here also arth aakti dia going ahead then gender verify the gender and date of birth date of birth you should be very clear 10th mass cut don't consider any other photo identity proofs only consider the 10th mass card that the date of birth what is mentioned in that right so fill that in both this column the next one is your father name father name mu kuda ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೆನ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೋ ಯು ಫಿಲ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೋ ನೇಮು ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫಾದರ್ ನ ಫೋಟೋ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಕೆಲವೊಂದ್ಸತಿ ಮಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹೌದಾ ಇವಾಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಶಿವ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಶಿವ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫುಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ಸ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಶಿವ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ನೇಮ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ವೆರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾರೆ ಎಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ವಿತ್ ಸಿ ಏನ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಾರಿ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಈ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಎಸ್ these are the religion or a caste which comes under the minorities right so if you are a hindu for example then you are not a minority student right apart from it these are the mentioned who comes under the minority if no you put it no then it will not ask any further details and you can proceed with then next is your mobile number ill mobile number anta bandaga it is your 10 digit mobile number do not include zero as a prefix here do not include the plus 91 as a mobile number here agree so hage irbekara only the 10 digit mobile number you have to use it and if you have an alternative mobile number use it or there is no mandatory that to put that column next is your email id ee email id ge nimage passwords gotirbeku it should be a active email that what you are using about yavdo you know inactive email yavdo ondu fake email id do not give it why because the details will come to your email also email notification you know uh, that uh, otp authentication will happen also so agir becker active email id na kod before applying the application form check that email can you can open in the browser so that you will get the notifications in that also all right moving ahead next is your 10th standard roll number i told you this is a unique number that upsc asks about so state board students ge direct ag roll number anta irutte ಸಿಬಿಎಸ್ಇ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಐ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ರೋಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈ ರೋಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಕೆಲವು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕ್ ಪುಟ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಫಾ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಪುಟ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ರೋಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೈವ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಏನ್ತಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಓ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೀಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಇರುವಂತ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ನ ಕೊಡಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಉತ್ತರ ನಿಮಗ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕು ರೈಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೇವ್ರೆಟ್ ಕಲರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪುಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಈಸಿಲಿ uh where you can remember for a longer period right and also the second security question the same questions will pop up and pick any other uh, uh, where you are more familiar with fill those details and
right so here verify the details of what you have filled so the name i told you your full name will not come only your name will come your gender date of birth father's name mother's name then the minority status mobile number and the email id 10th board number and your security questions so cross check all these details and make sure that it is correct if it is not correct go back and update that details once this is done so it will ask for a otp verification both the verification it will ask through the mobile number also and through the the email id also nimage email id alle different number barutte mobile message alle nimage different number barutte both you have to apply and you have to authenticate this way so once you authenticate that otps this is the final window which will come so take a screenshot of this window once you fill the details and save it for a future purpose right so once this is done people so once you are done with this go back to the previous window and ask for a login so you if you click on this login you can enter this details nimma ond roll number mate nimma ond otr number barat this otr number you have to you know store it for a future purpose this you have to remember whenever you want to login so once login mate bandaga ee otr id kottaga this window it will appear this is the otr final window which will appear so again it will ask for a new password here the password should be more than eight character alpha numeric it should also have the symbol upper case and the lower case but e password nimage nenipirbek so fill these passwords and it will ask in this format then the otr application is done so the otr part is completely done once you give the password then after logging in in the dashboard in the dashboard you can see the latest notification the latest notification click on this latest notification if you click on this latest notification this is the window it will come so upsc alli presently yavde yavdella idiyo nimage to apply for the examination those examinations will appear here even in the future also if you want to apply for nda the cds or any upsc exams this is the place where you have to go and apply that is the latest notifications artha aagtidya so adad mele you can see here civil services preliminary examination notification right so nimage details odbeku again notification andre you can click and read that notification or you can click on the part 1 that is a part 1 of your application e application upsc alli two parts varutte part 1 and part 2 e part 1 it will ask you the basic details part 2 it will ask for a payment of the fee and uploading your photo and signature and at the end examination center right so this is the part in the part 2 details so hagir bhai click on this part 1 registration part 1 fill maadade part 2 it will not open so only after filling this part 1 you can see the part 2 details also so after filling this part 1 people this is the interact you know uh, instruction it will come once you click on that here read those instruction carefully before you fill the form so the instruction details about the sign signature and the photo identity specifications so gotirli nimage nimage ella dimension photo signature it will not get uploaded there is a specification for that so a specification enu anta bandre the minimum should be it is 300 widths and the maximum should be 1000 pixels widths arth aksya 300 1000 is the maximum for example photo anta bandre the width is less height is more for a photograph so the maximum height of a photograph should be 1000 pixels and the width of the photograph should be maximum of 3000 pixels sorry minimum of 3000 sorry 300 pixels adhe rithi signature anta bandaga width will be more the height will be less so the maximum width of a photograph sorry signature is the 1000 pixels and the minimum should be the 300 pixels and file size kuda nimage jpg format alle irbeku not in any other forms i'll share a link to you in the what you know telegram group or in the whatsapp where you can easily modify your image and signature in that platform so that you can easily upload directly using that details right 
ಸೊ ಹಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ನೀವು ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅದರ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫೋಟೋ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಗ್ನೇಚರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಿಂಡೋ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಿಂಡೋ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ and this basic details it has fetched from your otr registration illi nev yavde adanta details na entry madangilla basic details it is taken withdrawn from the otr application you can see the basic details is filled here this what the window looks like right moving further in this part this you cannot update this is a pre filled data where you cannot update in the application form the next update what you can give is this details the nationality tax then the marital status it has in marital status anta bandaga kelu on sari confusions irutte especially for the female candidates why that confusion anta bandre if a married woman if a female candidate who is applying for the exam is a married dam for them the obc whatever the reservation they want to claim that obc status is derived from the spouse not from her father this you should be very clear for example if husband is earning more and his annual income is more than 8 lakh that female candidate will not get the obc status so what student does is madve agidru kuda they will not disclose to upsc why they want to take the obc reservation from their father artha ke so hagirbe kare you will get caught and many candidates candidature has been made invalidate or rejected because of this upsc yello one kade you married anta gotagutte if you hide from the upsc it will get to know it artha aagtide so be aware of this many places upsc puts a checks and balances on your uh, documents your details everything so be sure in this marital status for male candidates not a problem but female candidates you should be very clear even the male candidate who is earning more than 8 lakh or in a job his obc status will only come from the father no matter what what he earns atag even if he earn more than 1 crore right still he gets the obc status from his father if his father income is less than 8 lakh he gets the obc but for female candidates it's a problem they will not get the status of obc from their father after getting married so each here you should be very clear in filling the details right so then whether you are candidate of pwd or physically handicapped in another candidate idre put yes here if you put yes here then you should put that details of the document a documental yen irutho adra date and issuing authority details na entry madbeku and you can only get that you know reservation of physically handicap if your physical handicap is more than 40% if it is less than 40% you will not get that you know advantage but only if you want to take the advantage it should be the more than 40% of disability right this you should be very clear so once you fill this going ahead then it will ask for the community right e community anta bandaga again it will ask your religion right and religion anta bandaga here you can put for the details whatever it ask hindu non hindu or whatever it ask right next moving further fee remission e fee remission anta bandaga especially in the female candidates sc st candidates and the physically handicapped candidates they don't need to pay the examination fee but for other male candidates that is the general candidates ews candidates obc candidates they have to fill and pay the examination fee of 100 rupees at the year female candidates they don't need to pay any fee for this examination it is a free for the female candidates agree so other nantara next is your education qualification e education qualification na neevu fill madbekare yeah see here the two you know drop down will come in the education qualification e education qualification anta bandaga if you have already graduated if you are already passed out and the result has come and you are out of the college then you have to opt already pass the degree or equivalent examination but if a candidate is in the final year and still pursuing the graduation then opt for appeared or appearing in the degree or equivalent examination and upsc final year candidates ko kuda apply madadakke avakasha maadkodu 
but make sure that you complete your examination before the mains examination. In mains exam, in Bharato, Adupum Munchen, you clear Madirbeko examination and the mask card should be with you. So, this is what UPSC ask and notified in the notification also. Right? So, moving further, next is your the stream in the graduation. Is stream in the graduation and the bandaga around 30 drop downs will come within that select suitably what is your graduation. For example, engineering and the bandra, degree in engineering or BSc and the bandaga, degree in the science. But one thing is that for BCom candidates, there is no BCom mentioned here, right? They have to opt it for others. At the end, there is a mention of others. Pick that and it will further ask what is that degree. There you can put BCom in that part. Enter that BCom and that is fine, right? So this you should be very clear with that. So next bandhaga, it will ask which examination you want to take. You want to take only civil services? You want to take only forest service, you want to take both the exam. That is the civil services and the forest service also. So forest service, civil services, opt this both. Right. Opt mad admele, need further details, optional mele, pratimanu details. Right. If not only civil services, you pick it as a only civil services. Right. Next is you are filling the address. Fill this address, the correspondence address where UPSC will give certain, you know, uh, where the communication can happen. Where that UPSC can reach out to you physically, that address is what you have to mention. Right? Even if you have PGL or hostel, do not give that. Right? Give the a permanent or a correspondence address where UPSC can communicate with you physically also. Right? So, these details should happen. And e-details, so UPSC will make a police verification also. If you have interview reach interview, when you clear this exam, there is a background check. There is a police merger which will happen after you give an interview. So, the police will reach out to this place. So, even the physical address should be proper and accurate what you mentioned. Right? Where UPSC can reach out to communicate with you. Right? Next, once you fill that, so it will ask for claiming the age relaxation. Kelo candidates get more confusion either whether they want to claim age relaxation or not. When it comes to the reservation, EOBC, SCST, PWD candidates, there is an increase in age to give the tips. Your general merit candidates get up till the age of 32 years what they can give. For OBC candidates and SCST candidates, they can write this exam till the 35 years of age, right? So, if the candidate, he is 33 years and he is not eligible to write the exam through the general merit. So, if he is an OBC candidate, then only he will get that age relaxation. Being an OBC candidate, if your age is more than 32 years, then you have to pick that you want to claim the age relaxation or else do not put that you want to claim the age relaxation. Till 32 years, do not make this as an yes. It should be no only until 32 years of age. After that, it is a relaxation what UPSC gives for certain reservation. OBC, SCST, Smatra, even the reservation signal. Right? Though you are an OBC and less than 32 years of age, do not opt it. Though SCST candidate less than 32 years of age, do not put yes. Getting this one, people? Right? Next, only submit Mardaga, then it will take you to certain other details where it will ask the photo identity card. I told you. Right, these are the photo identity cards which is eligible to opt it. And this photo identity date of birth should exactly match with your SLC mask. This you have to take care while putting it. And either a PDF format, the soft copy of this photo identity proof, you should have it while uploading or filling this form. Right. Next, after filling that, it will ask you to fill the Details of that number, for example, other and the 12 digit number, whatever it has, driving license number if you opt it, and driving license number is what you have to put. Voter ID, if you put voter ID number, is what you have to put, and this number will be cross checked when you go for the examination date. So, in exam hall, there is a cross verification of your identity through this photo identity proof. So, you have to carry this original identity proof when you go for the examination. Xerox also will not be allowed. Only the original photo identity they will ask you on the day of the examination. Right? So, 
ಅದ್ರ ನಂತರ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಷನ್ ನೀವು ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೋ ಅದ್ರ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೋ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಟೋನಮಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಜಿ ಪಿ ಎ ಹೌದಾ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ತಪ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಶರ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎನಿ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಎನಿ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಝೀರೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫ್ರೆಶನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎನ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನೀವು ಇದುವರೆಗೂ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರೋ ಅದರ ನಂಬರ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕೌಂಟೆಡ್ ವೈಲ್ ಫಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎನಿ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಫ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫಿಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಈ ಪೇಪರ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪೇಪರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕೆಲವರು ಈ ಐದು ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅನ್ನ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಕೆಲವರು ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ರೀಜನಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈ ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ನ ನೀವು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀತೀರಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಲೋ ಯು ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಪಿಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಡೌನ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಲೋ ನೆವರ್ 
that it is there in the eighth schedule of the constitution and one English compulsory paper. Now, Karnataka Dali majority are who are applying for this exam in this class. You can opt it no here. You can opt it no here. And no anta bandaga, it will come the drop down. In that, you select the language which you want to write apart from English paper. Some candidates find difficult in writing Kannada, right? They can opt for Hindi also. The mother tongue is not comfortable. Al kotiro language is not comfortable. Yau dir tira adan film adre sa. If you want to write in Urdu, you can write. If you can write in Konkani, you can write it. If you want to write in Nepali, you can write it. Right? It is not like you should belong to that place only. But majority go with Kannada. Artakti the Kannada comfortable ilva go with Hindi. But don't panic for that subject. It is only passing. Getting 25% of the total marks is sufficient to clear that paper. And there is no marks counted for the merit list from this language paper. Right? So once you're done with this, next it will ask. I told you, so these are the language optional subjects which will prop up. See here, if I have opted my general studies in Kannada language, though I opt the political science as an optional subject, still I can write political science in Kannada also. This option is what UPSC gives, but only if you take the general studies in Kannada language. Getting this one? So once you fill all these details, this completes the part one people. So this is a part one completion. You can click on the continue. So this is the final window. It will appear. So e details now cross check Madi. This is the final detail of part one for your civil services exam, right? Adad mele. Cross check these details. If you want to update, you can update or you can submit. This, if you get this window, this shows the part one is completed. If part one complete agi takshna, in email notification kuda barate, mobile ali message notification kuda barate. So this completes the part one. Once you're done with this part one, then next thing is your part two. See here, once I fill this part one, then it is showing the part two registration. Before that, it was not showing. After only the part one registration, it will show the part two. If part two only first part is the payment part. So, if payment and the bandaga, I told you, female candidates no need to pay it. Only the male candidates what you have to pay. And hundred rupees is the examination fee. And easy payment channel and the bandra UPI also you can pay it through the UPI internet banking login. All these formats you can pay the examination fee through the debit card also and through the credit card also, right? But don't opt for a physical payment in the branches, right? It is a or time consuming task, go for an online fees payment only, right? So, once you pay the fee, see here, this if you go for a payment, these are the details it shows that is the internet banking and many other gateway of payments. What it shows once you make the payments, this is what the window it shows, right? So, this so it will show the status of the payment only if it is success, then the payment is completed. If it is not success, then there is a problem in the payment part. So you have to re-verify that. Once you make the payment as a success, this is the window it will show. So once you're done with the payment, it will take you to the next part in the part two part. So here part two on the it will ask the, the photograph and the signature. So e signature, you should be very, very, very particular. During the day of the examination, the invigilator will ask you to make your signature on the whatever the details they ask, right? So, there should not be a mismatch. It should be exactly the same what you upload here. So, on the white sheet with the black ball point pen, make the signature, take a photo of it and resize it and upload that file. So, photograph it should be formal, right? T-shirt hakoni rado, informal dress liru vantadu, right? Do not to take that photograph, right? If you have time, since there is a, a last date is 21st, you can go to that photo studio, take the proper, you know, a passport size photo, ask them the soft copy, they will give the soft copy, you can upload that same. But it should be very formal. 
ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೀಚ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಡ್ಯಾಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೀ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಾಫ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅನ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೇಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ಟೈಪ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಲ್ವಾರ್ anything is fine right don't go with the informal dress t-shirt right so round neck t-shirts don't go with that right and clean shave right all these you have to take care in filling the form why because interview panel members have questioned the photograph also right so it should look official whatever you upload here getting this one people and signature please take care of it while filling the form right next is the photo identity proof that is the aadhar driving license or whatever you upload it should be in a pdf form e ella resizing e i'll send you a link in the telegram channel use that link and get it done right once you fill these details people next it will ask you for the examination center see upsc is also very smart it is not asking the preliminary examination center at the beginning yaar dud kattaro yaar final maartaro with all the things process they are completed at the end it will ask ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಕೆಲವರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಸೊ ಕಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಧಾರವಾಡ ರೈಟ್ so nimge gotirli plan irli after the completion of these classes where you will stay right so nimma stay ge close center yavud idyo that you opted for a examination center bari bengaluru alle bari beka no right nimma luck ko bere city l idre that can also work it out right so you can opt for the other centers also yes everything should fall in place people why because i've seen in delhi there is an astrologer who will give right time and right day to put the application also artha aagtidya so all these things happens in delhi right they will make that as a habitual also in the delhi so hagir baker they will suggest the examination places also i have my own friend he is from karnataka he has given many attempts that did not work here right he changed the place of examination center he got a interview call ha huh? right this i'm giving i'm not doing any fiction here right it is a real instances so certain examination center can work for you right some examination center may work for you but be clear on that be clear on that right so once you fill this these details people listen here listen here listen here once you fill this details this completes your part 2 registration nimage yavaga illi part 2 completed anta barutho that completes your civil services examination application form illi enadru incomplete ittu andre you have to make sure that you have done some mistake and you have to get corrected only after seeing completed here is what the application ends once it is seen you can click here and you can download the application form so that looks okay, they are not done okay so you will get a pdf right you take a print out you can save it for the future purpose also next attempt barbekare you can fill that details as it is as you have filled in this attempt so it will be easier for you to fill for the next attempt but don't take a an attempt to write the next make sure that you clear within this attempt it's right everybody sitting here have the chances have that greater opportunity to clear in this attempt right so illa ee attempt al bari prelims hegirutte nodtini next attempt alli mains hegirutte nodtini hagidre bari upsc na nodtane hogbekagutte right so the things will not happen right make sure you are so 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 uh, you know a confident in clearing this examination in the first attempt itself getting this one people right so this completes your registration form for the civil services exam but yaar reservation claim martidro for example obc ews scst certificates 
this time upsc has come up with one more new instruction that ee application hakbekare ee ondu reservation na new claim madbekare a document mele the number and the date should be very clear artha aktidya yentike that should match when you upload in the main spot but the date anta bandaga starting from the last year first april till the 21st february of this year that is the you know window of date should be in the you know document your obc certificate marstine andre that obc is valid only if it is having a date from 1st april 2022 till this 21st february 2023 idru olagade idre matra obc certificate valid irutte idru olagade idre matra ews certificate valid irutte but scsts ke that is not a problem it is a lifetime validity what they have for a scsts this you have to take care while filling the form any doubts with regard to the registration form people any doubts no doubts perfect with this right still if, while filling the form if you have any doubts please reach out to me i'll help you out in filling the form but do not make a mistake in filling the form getting this one right 